Hello, this is David Chen. I'm going to show you the six-step Tai Chi, the Yan style Tai Chi. Before we start the Tai Chi practice, I will give you some ideas of the basic Tai Chi movements, starting with the hand. In this style of Tai Chi, the hands are moving very flexibly in a curvy linear trajectory. So if you look at my hands, we move very gently. This, this is one of the one of my favorite movements is called waving hands like clouds. So imagine the clouds are floating, your hands representing the clouds, all right? And in Tai Chi movements, you often have to make some gestures, like this is a fist. Usually the fist is a loose fist, it's not a very tight fist. So the vertical, horizontal, and this is the palm. And one thing you need to watch today is when I demonstrate the six-step Tai Chi, you'll notice the foot. So there, there will be a few things I want you to know. This is a bow step, B-O-W, like an arrow bow. In a bow step is a lunge movement. About 60-70% of the weight is in the front foot. The other remaining weight is on the rear foot. And this position is stable if you keep some distance, like you can see from here, the distance between the two feet. Not not put two feet on a straight line. All right, so let's practice a, a few movements. For instance, this is a move in Tai Chi, the parting horse is main to the left. You can see that in the bow step, all right? And then we can do this on the other side too. So right now, I'm going to show you a step, um, a bow step. From bow step, we can shift the weight to one foot. So right now, it's called an empty step. Empty means the left foot is empty. Most of the weight is being supported by your right foot, or by my right foot here. Okay. And then we can do the same thing here. This is called a heel style, a toe style. We can do it this way, so toe style. All right, now Tai Chi is an ongoing movement. And there are a few things you need to think about before you start. First of all is your posture. So we'll start with a starting position. The starting position is your hands on the sides hanging loosely and, and gradually the left foot is leaving the right foot. Now we are stand, I'm standing with shoulders width apart. At this point is in a neutral position. So in other words I'm very um, neutral. Everything is in a plane. Um, it's not tilted to the left, or right, back and forth. It's always balanced. And my knees, my hip, balanced, shoulder. And what about your neck? Keep your neck straight. And imagine that your head is floating up as if a stream from the ceiling is being pulling your hair. So as we do Tai Chi, we always imagine the head is being suspended upright. Okay? This is a very important position to hold as we perform Tai Chi. All right, so the six-step Tai Chi will be a very simple version of the Yang style 24-step Tai Chi. And I modify them to make six steps to make it easy for you to taste the feelings of Tai Chi just to make sure you get to start and then we learn the longer version, all right? So I'm going to start to demonstrate the sixth step. Again, standing with your shoulders width apart, the feet shoulders width apart in the neutral position. The first step is the commencing form. So you raise your arms very slowly to the height of the shoulder and just let the hands drop as pulled by gravity. This is called the commencing form. The second step, start in the same position as you start in the beginning form, it's called the repulse monkey. Imagine a monkey hanging between two tree branches. Okay. So at this time, I'm finishing up the second step. The third step is brush knee and twist step. So now my left foot is moving forward, pushing with my right hand, brush over the knee with the left hand. Step back, 
repeating it on the left side. Brush over the right knee with my right hand, push out with my left hand, and assuming a and position again at the end of number three. Number four is called needle at the bottom of the ocean, followed by flesh the arm. So again, I repeat it on both sides. Needle at the bottom of the ocean, flesh the arm. Number five is called kick with right heel and strike with both fists. We can repeat it here. Kick with heel, strike with both fists. Ending it with number six, cross your arms and uncrossing the arms. And then bring back to the beginning. So now I'm going to continue to finish this without talking. So this concludes the sixth step of the uh, Yan style Tai Chi.